Here we go. Big chain ring on the front, 15 on the back. And dial up that resistance to a three. And we have two minutes, steady effort. And you're up in three, two, one, go. Here we go. Two minutes, come on. The basics here, the basics. Get that cadence up over 90 RPMs. If you have to shift gears, go to an easier gear, then do so. But I want you to start working up around that threshold. David's at 325 watts. Kevin's at 285 watts. Which is real high power to sustain for that, for an hour. How do you determine your functional threshold? You need to get tested, that's how. You can do a benchmark test on the roads, or you can come to a lifetime fitness and go through metabolic testing. There are different ways to do it. But your functional threshold test on the road, the one I like, is a 20 minute all out effort. You find out what your average power is for that 20 minutes, subtract about 5% or so, and that's your functional threshold power.